Hey everybody and welcome to today's video which is all about how to improve your handwriting on the iPad. I'll be going through a bunch of tips, techniques, and tricks to help you drastically improve your handwriting, so let's get into it. When I first got my iPad last year, I admit it was kind of difficult to write on it as it's like this different surface than a regular piece of paper. However, in the past six months, I've learned a bunch of tips that I'm about to share with you guys, so be sure to stick out through the whole video. The first thing I'll be talking about are different accessories you can have for your iPad. What I first recommend is having a silicone Apple Pencil grip as this will greatly help you with writing as the Apple Pencil can be kind of hard and difficult to write with for long periods of time. The next thing I recommend is a foldable case and I like having a foldable case so you can put your iPad on an angle which reduces the stress of writing and makes everything more comfortable. And I'm so excited to show you the sponsor of today's video, which is the paper-like screen protector. This thing has been a saver in my handwriting experience. They recently sent me the package, which I'm currently unboxing right now. It comes with two screen protectors, just in case you mess up one of them. Plus, it comes with all these wipes and stickers to help you get that perfect screen protector application, which was honestly so simple, clear, and straightforward. It couldn't have been better. The paper leg -like is honestly perfect for students, creators, artists alike basically anyone who loves their iPad. It's so versatile and functional. One of the best features of Paperlike is the Nano Dots technology, which prevents against glare on sunny days. And as a bonus, it also prevents fingerprints on the screen. However, the thing that I love most about the Paperlike is the friction and the feel of writing on it. I must admit my handwriting was pretty neat before I got the paper like but oh my god afterwards I tried the paper like my handwriting just went up like 10 times it is so easy to write on this because of the friction it has a similar texture to paper therefore you can control your handwriting much more easier which is honestly amazing about this and you can see the friction of the paper like when I'm like rubbing my hands against it. So I totally recommend getting the paper like. So click the link in the description if you are interested because honestly, paper like is a game changer. Next, I'll be going through different pen settings. So things you can change within your app such as GoodNotes or Notability to make everything much easier to write on. First thing I'll talk about is pen thickness. I usually use 0.5, but I say within the 0.4 range to like 0.6 is honestly really good, but do not go to like 0.1 as it looks stickly thin and your handwriting is going to look really weird. And if you choose 0.9, you really can't write. And even 0.8 is very thick. So that's why I recommend 0.5 for being the best size to write with, although this is my preference on what I think you should use to be the neatest. In most note-taking apps, they have a bunch of different pens you can use. So in GoodNotes, they have a ballpoint pen, and they also have this fountain pen, which I do not recommend you use. I say avoid it because they have variable thickness, and this can make your handwriting look a bit messier, and especially the brush pen, which is hard to control, and it has like different pressure sensitivity, and you'll just have not a fun time. Or you could try another app. For some reason, Notability just like changes my handwriting a lot. Next, I'll be talking about app choices. So things you can do within the app. For example, this magnifying tool, which can help you write neater as if you have a smaller iPad, you can zoom up and it also tracks it so you don't have to move your hand when you write across. The next thing I would do is change the writing settings. If you go into the settings of most apps, they have a little section and here you can adjust how you write so it's most comfortable and it picks it up. And you can also play around with the pressure sensitivity and see what really works for you. I would also recommend using grid, lined, or dot paper only. 
This is because on these types of paper, you can write in a straight line, which will help you have neater handwriting. And if you wrote on blank paper, which I definitely do not recommend, your writing will just be all over the place. Next, I have some iPad recommendations things you can do physically with the iPad. So for example, if you're writing like a normal piece of paper is vertically, how about doing it horizontally and you'll have like double or like 1.5 times the space to write, which will help you be neater. And if you don't have a larger iPad, you can always use the magnifying tool. Next, I would recommend using an iPad with a large surface area. So for example, if you're going to be split screening a lot, maybe go for the larger iPad. So which brings me to which iPad model should you get? For example, I definitely would not recommend the iPad mini since it's extremely small compared to my iPad Pro. It's like almost half the size and you'll have a lot of trouble with writing on it. And just in general, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you want my recommendation on which iPad to get, I definitely recommend the iPad Air 4 as it is much cheaper than the Pro and you get lots of writing area. However, the iPad 8, which is the budget iPad, is also a great alternative. And lastly, I'll be talking about practicing. You must be writing like all the time on your iPad if you want to improve. You can't just write a little bit and then expect your handwriting to improve. For example, this is my handwriting when I first started on the iPad and honestly my handwriting isn't the best in my opinion, but I did practice a lot and it got much better. So that's the end of the video and thank you to Paperlike for sponsoring this video. Have a nice day guys, bye bye!